According to Ohm's law, voltage and current are directly proportional to each other. But according to P equals to V into I, voltage and current are inversely proportional to each other. Why so? See, here we have taken a circuit. And the circuit uh, have a resistance of 2 ohm, which is capable of uh, accepting 200 watt. Right. Now, uh, according to that, we say that... Uh, the voltage maximum voltage is 20 volt we have and uh, maximum current of 10 ampere it can, it can withstand right so we will vary this uh, voltage and current so first point uh, according to ohm's law how the ohm's law came we are interested in that see here uh, according to this concept say if i have one volt then i will have uh, one by two ampere of current if i have two volt then i will have one ampere of current if i have three volt then i will have what 1.5 ampere of current right now if i have six volt then i will have 3 volt 3 ampere of current and if i have 9 volt i will have 4.5 ampere of current and according to this if i have 20 volt then i will get 10 ampere of current right so in this every each and every case you can see the resistance here will come to ohm to ohm and so on it will also come to ohm but the power rating of each case is different here the power will come become 0.5 watt here will 2 watt and here will uh, 3 4.5 watt and in same way this will be 18 watt and this will be uh, 36 40.5 watt right so the power is different but the resistance is same in every cases see here when ohm's law was created the experiment was something like this we were taking a particular resistance and we were increasing the voltage one by one see here when voltage is one we have increased the voltage by twice into two you can see here the current is also twice that is into two now here you can see the voltage is increased from 2 to 6 say so the voltage is increased by 3 times 2 into 3 6 here also you can see 1 into 3 3 ampere so this way we can see that voltage varies current that means with the increase of the voltage the with with the increase of the voltage the current will also increase in the same number of times right but the power will be different now in practical scenario what happens the power is constant see here power constant now in this case what happened is we are choosing a resistance which have a, a particular power let's say the particular power is 18 watt now in how many ways you can make this 18 watt you can make it in different ways you can take it uh, 3 volt and 6 ampere or you can take 9 volt and 2 ampere or you can take 18 volt and 1 ampere anything you want but the problem is here only you will get 2 ohm value but for other you will get for this you will get 4.5 ohm value for this one you will get 18 ohm value so you are seeing that to maintain a particular power we have to vary the resistance <coughs> see here we want to maintain a particular power but we want to vary the voltage say the voltage is thrice that means 3 into 3 9 volt but you can see the current here is not 6 into 3 18 ampere rather it's 6 by 3 2 ampere so 
you can see while the resistance are changing then this property ohm's law is not valid because ohm's law itself says that v equals to i r when r is constant then only this happens and in power equation what happens p equals to v i in this scenario also this v and i changes when the power is constant okay so as you can see we are changing this resistance so that in that case that voltage and current will automatically inversely proportional not directly proportional that means when we talk about ohm's law we don't consider about the power we don't uh, think that what power it is going to have dissipate it's more or less that doesn't matter the only thing matter is to keep the resistance constant but in case of power constant what we do we our main motive is to make the power constant not the resistance here the resistance is changing so the ohms law is not actually ohms law valid is valid here but this scenario v varies with i is not valid in this case okay i hope you can understand